even get to see my ugly mug today. So here it goes. Let's go for the box. Right, this is the first plot. Working on, I put a triple compost section. Today, I filled this one up with leaves which the council left. As you can see, it's filled way right to the top. Loads of leaf mulch. I believe it can take up to two years to get a decent leaf mulch. Uh, we'll see. This one's empty. I think that's going to have uh, animal money. Household waste and God knows what else. Right, so this is 5A. I'm going to walk up through. Today I've dug it over at the front. Like I said, not everywhere is no dig. Certain areas, different things, different techniques. See which one works best for me. Still got loads of sprites in here. Which, if I lift it up, you can see just about. There we go, got loads and more up there. They're coming out today. I think I'm going to be living on sprites for the next few days, so got out my wife. Here's where I dug up some uh, strawberries and replanted them last week. I put the matting down, just cut some holes in the matting, put the strawberry crowns in. I don't know how good they're going to be because some I think may be over three years old, but we'll see. Right, now with the fruit bed section, I put all this black matting down amongst all the current bushes, black currants, red currants, white currants, mainly gooseberries. There's some blackberries in there and there's a load of new little ones what a kind of to give me. I haven't got a bloody clue what they are. So as you can see, I put the black matting down like that where the strawberries are and then I give it a heavy mulch of chip bark around the fruit bushes so basically this year I won't have to do anything just there'll be a few odd seedlings that sprout up amongst the chip bark which I should just be able to pull out by hand at the front where I've dug I'm hoping to get raspberry canes but for some bizarre reason I've never been able to grow raspberries everyone says they're easy not from moi and here we are onto the uh, 4B which is the uh, no dig plot. As you can see, it was completely covered. Completely covered in cardboard, completely covered in a thick layer of leaves and then a thick layer of cow and horse poo. So this bit, this is all now ready, ready for planting up. I think this probably will be squashes. Not decided yet. Down the side here, I have planted a load of wildflower seeds so they'll go alongside all the trees so all that fruit here that's all going to be wildflowers and they were cheap as chips and Morrisons I think it was two packs for three pound they've got them in littles now they're a pound a pack 99p so you can't go wrong here's all the fruit trees this is all mulched because it was just it was unwork it was bramble there was nowhere I was going to be able to do anything with it apart from put trees down plant trees, like I said you've got the old Victoria plum trees, I put a birds bird box out there, hopefully we get some nesting birds this year and there, I don't know if you can see because of the sun, is the polytunnel summer ice we touched on before, I don't need to go through that again and I come down onto my original plots now I've done a no dig section here no dig here, this has always been no dig, these beds. No dig here, and that there is a mess. I'm not going to show you that. I actually I will, just to prove that I'm not bloody totally weed free and perfect. There we are, completing that a mess. Grass growing, need sorting this bed desperately. That was celery, that didn't do nothing, so I haven't dug it out yet. Spuds are going in here this year, I think. So these two beds are going to have spuds in. This bed here has got straw in, but actually, there's garlic growing amongst the straw. I don't know if you can see it. I got two garlic beds this year because I love the stuff. Um, and then there's the other garlic bed. And you see, the garlic is now coming up. Someone's been digging there. God knows what. 
got a lot of rats on the allotment um, so possibly they're burying eggs again they seem to take the eggs on the chicken coops behind and bury them and I'm not bloody happy here because they've been digging up my asparagus bed just down there look. that's my asparagus bed which I'll sort out in a minute I'm glad I've done this filming now I'm going to come back round and take you into the polytunnel itself which is now alive it's alive with all my trays of seeds nothing's germinated because it's been so bloody cold I may lose them if I lose them I'll sow again that's the way it goes or they just might be slow germinating because of the cold so and that looks like there's a broad bean just coming up there and I think the peas are just coming up there now there we go so it is it, stuff is happening olive tree still going and into the tunnel itself these were summer lettuces I planted last summer I think they're gonna be alright you know um, what else have we got we've got some cabbages down here and the name of the cabbages are let me see I did label them I can't find the label there we go chard one of my favorite vegetables just for just how it looks that's rainbow chard and then you've got the Swiss chard that side winter lettuces are now coming to life that should uh, stop any hungry gap and unfortunately the rocket has gone crazy and it looks like it's gone to seed I didn't get that in time behind here we've got some strange cow it's called cow frizz which I shall be trying later I think and then round here we have cow cavalo nero I can't remember the name of cabbages I think it might be cabbage express or something along those lines so then we come back down down the plot and here I was luckily enough on the plot I got the no dig on there was a load of comfrey which I planted replanted here and you can just see it's starting to shoot so I got a lovely big comfrey patch and here I planted more wildflowers in front so you really got to try to attract the bees bees are declining in numbers and it's uh it's not looking good cow looking a bit sorry for herself cabbages which I'm gonna get now because I can't believe they started to bloody split even with this cold weather it's Savoy January Kings they are lovely my little mate Nobby the gnome more Savoys another no dig bed with a massive worm in the worms love the no dig down here I've got Jerusalem artichokes which I cut back and I still haven't had a chance to dig them up but I will probably do that in the next few days and start eating them so yet again that's no good for my wife because she'll be uh, I'll be stinking the house out leeks didn't really do a lot last year I planted them too close together so I'm just waiting for a bit of warm weather and they'll fatten up a bit before grab them before they go to the seed because they seed in the second year they're biennial flower bed starting to come alive see little things happening um, tulips are coming poppies are arriving on the scene uh, what else have we got yeah it's all just starting to come alive really and then there we go look at that my rhubarb another week I should be uh, picking some lovely rhubarb for crumbles just on his own really it's lovely coming back up through and that is really about it um, so things are starting to happen it's been really cold just turn around and talk to you yeah things are starting to happen but it's been really cold and uh, hopefully spring is on its way and uh, we can start planting so I'll probably see you again in about another month's time take care bye bye